hi welcome back to section two of gratitude so welcome let me just introduce myself again this is mrs always right you are dancing mama and also the only mrs always right so far and Meet Mr. Always right in that corner. Look at him. He's somewhere there. And welcome back again to our channel. So we're going to say a very big thank you as well to our subscribers before I start this. And also a very big thank you to God Almighty for his grace in this channel. So I'm so happy to come back again to share the second topic about gratitude, how it can cause positive outlook in our life. So far, so good. My life is all surrendered by events of the past whatever has happened to me i have been through so much in my life all i'm coming back now is to come and show gratitude to god by praising and also glorifying him for giving me all the support and all the care in the world ever since so now i'm going to discuss again about gra what gratitude causes one to have a positive outlook in life so not that everybody as i said not that everybody is bad or everybody is they have their own differences individual differences in life so some people might always show gratitude in a silence way some people will make it so loud some people can just do it in their mind but it's all to the glory of god it depends on how you show it so gratitude as it is is not just a feeling it is a way of life it is a way of life and it has the power to transform our outlook in life and bring us joy and fulfillment. That is what is gratitude. And also, when we choose to focus on the good things in our lives and express gratitude for what we have, we open ourselves up to the world of positivity and possibility so those two things you are positive and it's possibility for you to go move on in your life that is what we call a positive outlook about gratitude so the bible teaches us through the stories of job joseph Mephibosheth, David, Ruth. These indiv individuals all faced difficult situations, but they choose to focus on the blessings in their lives and express gratitude for what they had. So you know how it is, the story of Job, how he went through so many things. Even the wife was asking him to deny God, but he did not. He was still holding on to God. So, their positive outlooks helped them overcome their difficulties and achieve success. So, this is how it is. Some people can see other people smiling, happy, but behind 
that smile there's always something that is not being open in the public but they use that positive outlook to fight back in what is going what has been going on in their life and what is going on as well so those are the things the principles of being having a positive outlook and also showing gratitude and appreciation for what we have and even though it's small we still have to say thank you god for it so the story of job we see a man who lost everything he had yet he still chose to bless the name of the lord in the story of joseph we see a man who was rejected by his own brothers yet he chose to forgive and show kindness to those who wronged him in the story of Mephibosheth we see a man who was crippled and forgotten yet he was given a place at the king's table you see it is always that kind of people that you see how they will show positive attitude in the story of David you see a man who was who faced many challenges yet he chose to trust God and express gratitude for his goodness and the story of Ruth we see a woman who faced great loss and she chose to stay faithful and grateful so how can we express our gratitude to affect our positive outlook so similarly we can express gratitude when or similarly when we express gratitude we shift our focus on what we lack to what we have this help us to appreciate the blessings in our lives and find joy in the present move moment it's also help us to develop resilience and cope with challenges more than effectively as it is says in first Thessalonians 5:18 give thanks in all circumstances for this is the will of God in our life in Jesus Christ. So let us make a habit of a habit to count our blessings and express gratitude in every day. Let's choose to focus on the good things in our lives and find joy in the present moment. Let's see how God Let's see how much of a difference it can make in our lives and in the world. Remember, gratitude is not just a feeling, it is a way of life. May you be blessed with a heart full of gratitude and life full of joy. So, let us learn a lesson from this topic and also go back and read in the bible the story of ruth the story of david the story of job the story of mephibosheth the story of joseph and so many even the story of esther as well there's so many people that got gave them a lot of changes in their life because of their positive and they are also being faithful and also no matter what they went through they were still holding on to God and believing that God can always and will always support them and see them through they did not give up or they didn't show on grateful attitude instead they were showing positive and grateful attitude and then God turned their, their life around and make it possible for them 
to fight and go through all the difficulties in life. So we should also learn a lesson in those kind of development because God is always with us and is always ready to give us that hope for us to live on. So thank you once again for watching and listening. And also, I now show appreciation and gratitude to God first. And then gratitude to everybody who has been supporting this channel and always following and watching my videos. So thank you. Thank you. May God continue to bless you. So I'm now going to wait for you and night night and talk I'll talk again tomorrow. So this is a different Sunday so far because I had a whole day from ten o'clock in the morning off. So I spent a lot of time relaxing because last two weeks has been so it wasn't a very pleasant week but it doesn't make that I will not continue to rejoice in the Lord. So a lot of things went on. So at the end of it, it all turned into victory for me. So now I decide to take today a day off to continue to spread the gospel. And may God continue to bless you and bye from us, Mr. Wright says bye and bye bye. bye, -bye. So he's the only one in the church congregation today. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> this service is always <laughs> Miss the always right and Miss is always right in the congregation. God bless everybody and have a wonderful day and bye.